A marvelous and a blessed day to you. I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. And I trust that your weekend has been a wonderful weekend and that you have had an experience with the Lord and He has strengthened you and given you the determination to continue during the course of this week. Almighty God and our gracious Father, thank you for your never-ending love. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your gentleness and your goodness toward us as your children. Even when we do not deserve it, Lord, you are always there, you are always present. You are our always, our very present help in trouble. So this morning, Lord, we come to thank you. We come to bless and magnify your name. We come to ask you, Lord, for our, for our strength for today. Strength for the week ahead. Strength for whatever task you have assigned to us. We humbly submit to you, Lord. We will do whatever you call us to do. We will lean upon your everlasting arms. We will rely upon your never-ending strength and your mercies that are new every morning. Lord, as we submit ourselves to you, we are asking that you would meet our needs. You know all our needs, Lord. We present them to you. You told us to cast all our cares on you because you care for us. And so, Lord, we place them all upon you today. Touch our minds, touch our bodies, touch our spirits, our emotions. And I pray, Lord, you would heal us in every area of our lives. Father, we need your provision. We need your protection. We need your guidance. And so, Lord, we run to you today. We say thank you and we bless your holy name for providing all that we need. Help us to be ambassadors for you and to live for you every single moment of this day. And Father, we will give you praise, honor, and glory in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen. Today we are looking at a passage in the Psalms. Psalm 105. Psalm 105. And we are going to read the first seven verses of Psalm 105. Give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. O descendants of Abraham, his servant, O sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. The verse I would like to focus on amidst this passage is verse 4. It says, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. There are moments in our Christian walk when we become weary and become tired. Everyone will experience these moments. Being a child of God requires strength. It requires determination. It requires perseverance. A child of God, a Christian, needs to be strong and bold. Not only for ourselves, but there are those who look to us for strength. There are those who rely on us for a boost 
and for security and for answers. But our strength, our own strength, will eventually give way to our human weakness. We will become weary at times. We will become tired. We will become fed up and frustrated. We will begin to doubt our, our own abilities or the abilities that God has given to us. We, be, we may begin to doubt the call that God has placed on our lives. Some days we just want to stay in bed. We don't want to get up. Some days we want to tell the whole world, just find somebody else to lean on. I, I can't do it anymore. <clears throat> and there's some days we just want to throw the towel in and say, just find somebody else today. The good news is, you don't have to live this life on your own strength. You don't have to have it all together every possible moment of the day. You see, God already has it together for you. God holds your hand. God lifts you up. He has already provided all that you need to make it through the day. Sometimes we want to live tomorrow's problems today. No, God gives us enough strength and his grace is sufficient for today. We cannot solve yesterday's problems and tomorrow's difficulties with today's provision. Yesterday is gone. Today is now. Tomorrow is future. But God gives you enough to deal with today. His strength is sufficient. His grace is made perfect in our weakness. But we have got to realize that God is going to give us enough strength for today's problems. He is our strength. God's strength never goes, never runs out. God never gets weary. He has all the answers that we need. And he is ready to give us those answers if we ask him. There are times we become weary because we become involved or we try to solve everything on our own. We run health to skeleton looking for these answers. But when we recognize that the answers we need are all found in God, we do not need to use our energies all we need to do is to run to him and he provides the solution and he provides the strength to take us through whatever situations we are going through. He says, seek my face. Turn towards me. Focus your attention. Focus your mind on me. He said, I will keep you in perfect peace if your mind is focused on me because if your mind is focused on God you will begin to see life from his perspective there are times when we feel we have to solve all the problems in the world no you don't that's not your job that's God's job All you need to do is to present your problem to him and he will provide the strength and the solution to whatever the problem is. So there are times we waste our energies, there are times we exhaust ourselves trying to fix everything on our own. Learn to rely on God. Look to him for strength. Strength for today. When we become to a place when we, 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 we exhaust ourselves and we are growing weary, cry out to God and tell him this, that you need his strength. 
Seek him. You will find he always answers your cry. You will find that he is always there. Remember, the psalmist says, He is our very present help in trouble. He is our strength. He is our rock. He is our strong tower. Therefore, when we grow weary, run to the rock and he will provide the strength we need. May we recognize today and may we enjoy today as we go through this day leaning on the everlasting arms of God and relying upon his strength. Have a victorious and a blessed day.